But The Rock's in the middle of what? True. Running the XFL, yeah. which brings Ooh. us to this point. The XFL has announced the cities, AJ. All but three are the same from the previous XFL run, which obviously uh, derailed whenever COVID yeah. got into nachos of the Seattle team. That's yep. right. The Remember yes. that? They were, having, they were having a million plus, million plus viewers, million plus viewers, like three, four weeks. The XFL was really going. How you doing? Keep it moving. Had a fan base. Had deals with every single network. Yep. It was going to go. I think, honestly, first First time ever, Spring League was going to have success. Then Uncle COVID came through, got the nachos in Seattle, league got shut down, bankruptcy was filed, it went up for sale, and The Rock and Danny Garcia bought it. Yeah. The Rock's now an owner of the league. They've been rolling out a lot of things. They made a deal with Disney and ESPN to be the broadcasting partner. We learned a lot during the ESPYs about uh, half of the league owner being a female is obviously mm -hmm. the first time uh, in the history of leagues and all the workouts that The Rock is actually boots on the ground at trying to build this league. They hired notable and very famous head coaches, and they kept a lot of the same exact fan bases, which I think was a very smart idea. They take the Dallas team, move that to Arlington. They take the Tampa team, move it to Orlando, and took the Los Angeles team and took it to Las Vegas. But other than that, eight teams, Seattle, Vegas, St. Louis, the Battle Hawks. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Are back San Antonio, Arlington, Houston, D.C., and Orlando. Those are the eight cities. They're currently actively boots on the ground trying to find the players. They got a great set of coaches. They got a TV deal. What if the XFL goes, AJ? Here we go. What if the XFL goes? I hope it does. I, I think The Rock, like, I know he has 10,000 different things that he has his hands in, but I feel like he absolutely wants this to go. This would be a huge like thing for his legacy if he can find a way to – put up like a second league that actually goes and actually like is almost a feeder system into the NFL. Why not? If anyone could do it, I guess the rock probably can. It probably gives him some closure in the football world too. Yeah. Right. Mm. Like if this has success, it gives him some closure because yeah. I think from learning his story, both from young rock and then other, hearing other people chat about it. I think football was like, this is my whole life goal. Now he would, there's no way he could say with a straight face that wrestling was never an option. I mean, his grandma, his mom, they're from like the biggest promoting family in Hawaii and the business has been in his blood. But I think football was actually shoot what The Rock wanted to do. So him getting cut, not being able to do it, then going into superstardom in wrestling and kind of movie star. I don't know if he ever had like a, a closing to the chapter of football. Yep. If he's able to build his own fucking league that's successful, they've already partnered with the NFL and his business mind is able to give opportunities to a lot of guys in his position. I think he would probably say, you know, I feel like I kind of closed that that whole part of my life up, you know, which is good for The Rock, good for players that are going to get an opportunity here too. Are you, do we know what stadiums they will be playing in? It's, is it the same it's, ones? It's on the Wikipedia I saw. They do yeah. have all the stadiums listed. I think the five teams that were already XFL teams, I think they're all in the same stadium. Arlington was in Arlington, though. The stadium was in Arlington. The the is Dallas like Vegas? Team was are they playing at UNLV? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like that they're testing rules, though. And I did see the Las Vegas one. Uh, the It hasn't been confirmed yet where they're going to play. Okay. Well, because there's a couple of high school stadiums they can probably play. What, what is it? Bishop, Bishop Gorman. Bishop yeah. Gorman. Here, we have the stadium. Play. Zito has a list of them here we're putting up. Oh, all right. Arlington is in Arlington, Texas at – you can go full screen on that. Choctaw Stadium. Choctaw, Choctaw Stadium. I think that's where an XFL workout is happening today, I believe, because The Rock posted at 1 a.m. from here about a workout that's coming today, and he had – yeah, looking good. Oh, Yo, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think it's right across the street from Jerry World. Yes, it is former. I think it's a former baseball stadium that was used yeah. there because I called this game. I uh, remember I called the their first game because mom, mom, what was the godfather of the air attack? Larry? How mummy? How oh, mummy. Yeah, yeah. He's the offense coordinator for mm -hmm. that team. And uh, the guy who's on Fox. It's where Mike Leach got it, right? Stoops. Yes, yep. Stoops mm. was the coach of the team. Right. And they had a full fan base there. It was in that uh, same area. So I, I, I think it's, the Dallas team has always played in Arlington. It's the former Texas Rangers ballpark. There it is. Okay, yeah, baseball. Yeah. Boom. That's baseball, right? Yep. 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 Boom. 25 runs, by the way. Yeah. That's Blue the Jays. Yeah. team. Against the Red Sox. 27, I guess. Yeah, got yeah 27 total. I didn't even know that was possible. No, me neither. S that's fucking oh. baseball. I'd go to more games. They start doing that. Are we, is, did they make the ball bigger? How did that happen? Socks They're juicing the balls now. Right? Socks are on quite a run. Yeah. You guys fucking suck. 
Yeah, or two folks on Kevin Durant and uh, football. All right, Sorry, let's go on. through. Let's go through the rest of the stadiums very quickly here. TDECU, uh, whatever that is, to be determined in Vegas. <laughs> Lumen Field in Seattle. Audi Field in D.C. That's the same home. Yep. A lot of beer snakes there yep. happening. Alamo Dome. Don't ever forget. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> remember. Don't ever forget it. You were going to say remember, remember. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. But I always remember the Alamo. Yeah. It's yeah. a pretty big fucking deal. Huge. Huge. Don't be such a fucking scumbag. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't yeah. know what you're going to say. Well, I, you're just going to spit on the history hey, in Texas? No, it on Davy Crockett's I thought grave. it was remember the Alamo. Isn't that the thing for the Alamo? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, why are you saying it like that, though? Because that's what they say. Remember the Alamo? You forgot it for a second. No. <laughs> seems like you forgot the Alamo for a little no, bit. No, I didn't it forget the Alamo. It seems like you forgot Alamo. the Alamo. I wake up every morning thinking about the Alamo. Don't, why do you do that? Because remember, that's weird. You got to remember the Alamo. I understand, but it seems like you forgot it. Now you're making up for it by saying overreactive nope. things. Nope. Think Nobody about thinks about the Alamo every day, even if people I do. work at the Alamo. I think about the anyway, Alamo. Anyway, San Antonio might be a home of an NFL team. Not a bad thing to test out here if you're the Rock. This, mm-hmm. uh, this city has been clamoring for it. They got great fans. Obviously, the Spurs have done very well. Mm-hmm. They're a big fucking city, too. Mm-hmm. St. Louis gets them back. The Dome and America Center. Oh, yeah. That's where the Rams played. <laughs> Yeah, is that the old Rams place? I don't know. That was like, that needed repaired 15 years ago. What have they been doing since? I think they've left it the same. Uh, And we had Royal Rumble in there, I think. And uh, the Battle Hawks were in there. And then the Camping World Stadium down there in Orlando. There we go. Let's go, XFL. Congratulations to XFL. So when do they play? Um, 2023. March? Mm -hmm. Spring. Spring of 2023. Yeah, after this upcoming NFL season. Mm -hmm. Two-week break after the Super Bowl or one-week break? I forget what it is. Uh, Should be a one-week break, I think. I think we should let people see what life is like without football mm -hmm. and then come back afterwards. Because I think every spring league has attempted to go the week after the Super Bowl. And it's like, I get what you're trying to do with, yeah, we'll just keep the football going. Follow up, like make people miss football for a little bit. Yeah. Then you can go as well. I mean, there's multiple ways to look. The at better it. players go to the XFL, right? Over the USFL? Yes. I think, I think at this point, yes. Definitely.